mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. For it is written, we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. For it is written, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Lord, we thank you for redemption through the blood of the Lamb. And Lord, we thank you for the efficacy of thy blood. Be glorified in Jesus' name. We take authority over this day by the power and the blood of Jesus. We take authority over every minute, every second, every hour of this day by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. It's another moment. Mountain top daily church. Ah, God bless you. Uh, today, by the special grace of God, uh, we have a strange spirit to deal with. Yes, a very strange spirit to deal with today. And this spirit has no respect for anybody. It has no respect for your age. It has no respect for your title. It has no respect for your certificate. It has no respect for your anointing. It has no respect for who gave back to you that doesn't have respect for your, your family or whatever. So this spirit we want to deal with it has no respect for anybody. He has no respect for any nation. It doesn't even discriminate. When he want to operate, he deal with anybody. And that spirit is called the spirit of emptiness. Yes. Maybe I should first of all pray for somebody that is listening to me this morning or this afternoon or this evening as the case may be wherever you may be. Power assigned to empty your glory, Shaddai, in the name of Jesus. Power assigned to empty your glory, Shaddai, in the name of Jesus. I say activities of the emptiness in your life is hereby destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, our anchor scripture today is the book of Nahum chapter 2. In fact, it would be good if you can create time to read through the book of Nahum from verse 1. Nahum chapter 2, beginning from verse 1 to the end. You can create time to read uh, Nahum chapter 2, beginning from verse 1 to the end. But I pick from verse 2. For the Lord hath turned away the excellency of Jacob as the excellency of Israel, for the emptiers have emptied them. For the emptier, yes, for the emptiers have emptied them out and marked their branches. For the emptiers have emptied them. So you will see that the scripture confirms that there is a spirit called the spirit of emptiness. And this spirit, like I said, it has no respect for anybody. Now, when you talk about the spirit of emptiness, I think we need to look at some of the characteristics of the spirit of emptiness. Is the spirit that strips people of their beauty. That's one of the things you can pick from that now in chapter 2, verse 2. So somebody that you can call out, ah, this person is beauty, is beautiful, 
and all that, the spirit of empty has stripped people off of their beauty. It's the spirit that strips people of their glory and honor. It removes glory, it removes honor from people's life. The spirit of empty is the spirit that clears away virtues and destiny. Yes. So for you, you need to understand what we are dealing with today. Yes, it's the spirit that clears away virtues and destiny. What is the spirit of empty? It is the spirit that puncture good things in life. The puncture good things. The way they punk, you know, the puncture balloon. The spirit of empty is the spirit that puncture good thing. The spirit of empty, yes, it is the spirit that redesigns glorious destiny to negative one. The spirit of empty is the spirit that redesigns glorious destiny to a negative destiny. I pray for somebody today. If your destiny has been redesigned by the emptier, let the blood of Jesus correct it now. In the name of Jesus, if your destiny has been redesigned negatively, receive divine correction by the blood of Jesus. Receive divine correction by the blood. Can you say amen right there where you are? Receive divine correction by the blood of Jesus. Receive divine correction by the blood of Jesus. What did the spirit of emptier? The spirit of empty is a spirit that, you know, that is behind chronic poverty and wretchedness. Yes, the spirit of empty is the spirit behind chronic poverty and wretchedness. Yes, what is the spirit of empty? The spirit of empty is the spirit that empty people of testimony. Is the spirit that empty people of their testimony. Thank you, Father. Somebody, you are connected to this program now. You know, you had a dream. You had a dream in that dream. You notice that you are like in a, in a warehouse. Thank you, Father. You are in a warehouse. Like... You're in the warehouse and you goods were there. And suddenly in that dream, everything begin to reduce, begin to reduce, begin to go down gradually. And you woke up. I pray for you now. Agenda of the emptiness to bring you from grace to grass. Kayi palo zubia. Engulu sunde pande galu zeglia, ligo do sudi ke pola brozia, juge de baruzi bakembelia. The agenda of the enemy to bring you down from grace to grass. I arrest that agenda in the name of Jesus. I arrest that agenda in the name of Jesus. I arrest the agenda in the name of Jesus. Power that wants to move you from grace to grass. If your amen can be loud and clear, that power expire in the name of Jesus. Wow, thank you, Jesus. We still talking about the characteristics of the spirit of empty ass. The spirit of empty ass is the spirit of labor. Yes. The spirit of labor, the spirit that will, very crafty spirit, the spirit that will tell you to walk, and after that, they, will, they don't want to let you go. Very crafty. What is the spirit of emptier? Yes, what is the spirit of emptier? It is the spirit that want to remove the main content in you and make it to become a carcass. Let's go on a short break. I'll be right back. God bless. 
Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life-changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Praise the Lord. Yes. This was the spirit of MDR. And I said, it's the spirit that want to remove the main contents of your life and make you to become a carcass. Yes. What is the spirit of emptiness? It is the spirit that reduces people to ugly shadow of their glorious past. What is the spirit of emptiness? The spirit of emptiness is the power that feeds on the people's peace. They eat peace. They eat peace. They swallow peace. Yes. Power assigned to swallow your peace. Marazatalia. Powers assigned to swallow your peace. Oh, Zikapia. Power assigned to swallow your peace. As you are saying, Amen. Right there where you are, that power expires. In the name of Jesus, power assigned to swallow your peace. That power expire. In the name of Jesus, powers assigned to swallow your peace. I command it to expire. In the name of Jesus, expire, 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 expire. In the name of Jesus, what is the spirit of emptiness? The spirit of emptiness. They don't allow money. To stay in people's hand and in accounts. Do you hear what I said? They hate seeing money in your hands. They hate seeing money in your account. In fact, once money comes into people's hand and you are not guided, you are not protected by the fire of God, the spirit of emptiness will come because they know. And what the next thing they want to do is to devoid. Sometimes it could come in form of sickness into the family, into somebody very close to you. It's like the agenda is to ensure that that money disappears. Yes. It may not be you falling sick, but it could be somebody very close to you. It could be something happening to somebody very Dear to you, but the agenda is to ensure that that money disappear. So they empty money from people's accounts through problems. You can see that it's a serious spirit that we need to deal with today. What is the spirit of emptiness? The spirit of emptiness is that spirit that makes debt to increase and income is going down. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's the spirit of empty. They, 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 they create financial problems. They make debt to increase. They make people to enter into debt. And they, they can't explain why. 
They make people, people get money, they won't be able to explain what they use the money for. Is it the activities of the spirit of emptiness in somebody's life? You get a salary, and at the end of the month, before you even get a salary, you are finished. You are, you are making profit, you are making money in your business, but you, know, you notice that you can't really pay down anything tangible that you have done with that money. Beloved, you need to deal with the spirit of empty ass. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's not ordinary. You have to address the spirit of empty ass. What is the spirit of empty ass? It's the spirit that causes crisis upon crisis. As somebody is coming out of a problem, and that problem comes in. As somebody is coming out of a problem, and that problem comes in. As somebody is coming out of a problem, and that problem comes in. And he said, what have I done? What is it? What you need to do is to deal ruthlessly with the spirit of empty ass. That's what they did to Job, if not God's mercy. Yes. What is the spirit of empty ass? You know? Their characteristics, their operation. They make people history while they are still alive. When somebody is still alive, the spirit of empty makes them to become history while they are still alive. I want to pray for two persons, myself and one other person who care to say amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as I pray for myself and pray for somebody who is saying amen, while you are still alive, you will not become Israel. In the name of Jesus, while you are still alive, you will not become Israel. While we are still alive, you will not become Israel. In the name of Jesus, while you are still alive, you will not become Israel. In the name of Jesus, while you are still alive, you will not become Israel. In the name of Jesus, while you are still alive, you will not become Israel. In the name of Jesus. What is another characteristic of the spirit of emptiness? Mm. They convert clothes to rack. Yes. They convert clothes to rack. What does that mean? It means somebody who dress good, dress neat, dress fine, suddenly he doesn't have access to all those things, began to weird rack. The spirit of emptiness turned giver to beggar. The spirit of empty creates scarcity in the midst of plenty for people. The spirit of empty beloved, turn the mind, that they, 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 that's the way they close the mind of helpers against you. Yes, let me say this to you. Sometimes people make promises that they are going to do this and do this, and suddenly, you are calling them. They are not responding to your call. You need to deal with the spirit of emptiness because there are forces that blindfold epas from seeing you. There are spirit that changes the mind of epas. Potential epas, they block their mind, they block their, their mind, their, their faces. They can't see you. They can't. You say, are you still there? They can't even remember you again. It is the oppression and activities of the spirit of emptiness. This spirit of emptiness, let me say this to you. Sometimes, yes, they ensure that people marry wrongly. You hear me very well. If you marry a man that is not going to your direction, you can tell the end from the beginning. If you marry a woman who is not going your direction, you can be rest assured the end result from the beginning. Because the scripture says, can two work together except they agree? So sometimes when the enemy wants to destroy a glorious destiny, they ensure that you married a wrong person. So it's not a spirit that you should play with at all. Another thing about the spirit of empty ass is that they make people to be removed suddenly from the place of honor. 
to a place of disgrace. Somebody that people have been celebrating. People have honors in, they like him, everybody wants to see him suddenly. Something that is not even relevant will just happen. In fact, it may happen to other people and they won't do anything. But because the spirit of empty is at work in the life of this person, they will remove him suddenly. That's right. You know, they just remove him. And that's all. Unless mercy speak, he may die like that. You will not die without fulfilling your destiny. Kaparazatia. You will not die without fulfilling your destiny. In the name of Jesus. If you say amen, you are the one I'm praying for. You will not die without fulfilling your destiny. In the name of Jesus. You will not die without fulfilling your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Yes. They remove people suddenly from the place of honor. Oh, let's go on a short break. I'll be right back. God bless you. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life-changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Still talking about the characteristics of these MTRs. They are power that downgrade and demote. They are power that convert princes to servants. They are forces that make junior to become a servant, to, to become a senior. Yes, they make senior to become a junior and they make junior to now become a senior. They pervert, they manipulate. They make junior to begin to, to become a kind of authority over the senior and senior is now serving the junior. Now, how do we deal with this monster called emptiness? Number one, which is very very, very important to prevail. It is possible for us to prevail, but you can prevail, yes? You must give your life to Jesus Christ. You must ensure that you are correctly positioned. You must ensure that you are correctly positioned. Also, discouragement must die in your life. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yes. Don't give up. That is not the end. Don't give up. And also, irrespective of your condition, irrespective of your present condition, do not allow the negative condition to determine your conversion. Meaning, you must learn to verbalize your desire. Yes. Yes, which is very important. And another way to prevail over this MTR, get mad with them. Go into brutal, radical, violent, victorious prayer. Be, be, be ruthless in your prayer. Don't give up. 
God still answer prayer. With prayer, you can move mountain. So irrespective of that situation, don't give up. Keep praying. Prayer is like rain. Yes. The more you pray, the more you weaken the strength of the empty house. Sometimes, it may look as if they are not going, but don't, don't, don't mind them. They, they are pretenders. So change the gear of your prayer and get yourself involved in intercession. Sometimes get yourself in intercession. And also sometimes you, you, you need to look for those who really are the spirit of prayer. Yes. Look for those who have the spirit of prayer so that sometimes when you are discouraged, you know the Bible says iron sharpened iron. So they can tow you from where you are to where God wants you to be. And also intentionally, in the midst of your battle, learn how to worship God. Learn how to worship God. Yes, send Judah first. And God take over. Man. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Position yourself correctly. Keep praising God. And declare positive things. And also finally, see the change that you desire. With your eyes of faith, see that God has changed. You see, He's going to change the situation in your life. And I pray for you today that the activities and the progress of emptiness in your life expire by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, say I receive total deliverance from the spirit of emptiness today in the name of Jesus. I receive total deliverance from the spirit of emptiness by the power in the blood of Jesus. I receive total deliverance from the spirit of emptiness by the power in the blood of Jesus. I receive Total deliverance from the spirit of emptiness by the power in the blood of Jesus. I receive that. To open your mouth and pray that prayer. I receive that. Total deliverance from the spirit of emptiness in the name of Jesus. I receive that. Total deliverance from the spirit of emptiness in the name of Jesus. I receive total deliverance in Jesus' name. I pray for you. What belongs to you that people are sitting upon is coming back to you in the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. The name of the Holy Ghost. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. The zeal of the Lord bringing to us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. In Jesus' name. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.